Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We got game number three going on here of the uh, Paradise League normal cup thingy. I am watching the game Wives vs. Fellowship, joined not by Dosa but by Henke today. I think us three are just going to be cycling through uh, to give the casters a little bit of a rest. My voice has still been suffering since yesterday. Henke, how are you doing, buddy? I'm doing great, Dutch. Thanks for asking. Really yeah, looking just... forward to this game here. Turns out screaming for eight hours straight is not great for your voice. <laughs> like, how how could I have known? Uh, I feel it very hard after just the first game, Dutch. So this is new to me, but damn, you casters have a... But very yeah, hard... so info casting is not as bad because you can just kind of keep talking at like the same, you know, just chill volume. But especially the, like the shout casting. Yeah. It's it is rough on your voice. Anyway, uh to continue with the bands, electrician, bushwhack, artesia, plague by the armadon and keeper. So specifically electrician and artesia seems like targeted bands, I would say. Yeah. Cause the lurky We we don't really see Artesia a lot. But I think he has been having some um success with the hero. Right? I would say so, like, Artisha is very strong if you know how to play it well with uh, a combined hero. I think it Yeah, I think if you manage to protect her, right? Yeah. And that's always, like, in my opinion, the issue with the hero. If you don't jump her, she's gonna, like, provide so much healing. Mm. But if you do jump her, she's like a creep to farm. That is correct. What do you think uh, about the Keeper ban here? So, I... Um, it's it's pink, so the Hellborn side here, the band the Keeper, I don't... I, I haven't really seen much games from the Legion side, so I'm not really... Not really yeah. aware, like, what they picked. Going through yeah. their... Uh, scrolling through the games right now, I see Shoya Rojo actually having a couple of Keep games. Uh, yeah. Um, Actually, I'm seeing a lot of Bushwhack games as well. So... There may be some targeted bands as well. Uh, oh. Rat hero again. Classic. And Bramble. Yeah, so the, the Keeper, of course, being an insane hero. I think the hero is super strong still with the tower heal and whatnot. It just, it has, like, the ability to, to delay the game. It does. And then, of course, that AoE ultimates. Uh, if you use it properly, it's just very powerful. It's an amazing hero. Yeah. In the right Even hands. Like, the five armor you can put in your carry is, like, super important in some situations. Yeah. That is true. Um, an empath pick it doesn't really speak to me as, like, a first pick either. That is empath true, there is. Hmm? is empath, of course, did get a small change with her Q, where it's a little bit more versatile now. Yeah. But, uh... I don't feel like Empath is a first pick either when considering there is so many good supports out there. Like right Andro. Yeah. I still love Andro's hero. Minus six armor is insane, dude. <laughs> it so. is. Like any 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 like Pharaoh. Legion hero is like uh, watermelting just by the thought of like having s minus six armor on his abilities. How much does the Lex Talonis minus armor give you? Is it six? Minus five. Five, so it's even more than that. Yeah, like the the, the best thing is, look look at the aura, right? It yeah. lasts for fourteen seconds, fifteen seconds cooldown. That's <laughs> that's actually amazing. Like like this, there's not many debuffs that last for fourteen seconds. No, it's <laughs> it's just insane. Like I've I've missed aura before, but it is quite difficult to do. Anyway. Um, we're not seeing a Scrap plus uh, Electrician lane this time, but rather a Bramble plus Scrap lane, maybe? Mm. Or at maybe. least them to picking up together. Speaks to me like the, you can't really run Bramble on many other lanes. You could still oh. actually run Scrap as a short support, but I don't think you'd necessarily want to. I think the hero is really powerful in, an, in a long lane situation, in a 2v2 situation. Yeah, I completely agree with you there. Scrap is not really the best support. 
Oh, okay. So I also specifically here like the Predator ban because Predator is a hero that can really tear through the Bramble and the... He doesn't really care about Scrap either, does he? No, he doesn't. Not at all. So maybe we can see a Swiftlight ban as well here because I think Swiftlight similarly has the same kind of strength against Scrap. Yeah. Hmm. Man, it's like I can predict the future. <laughs> Turns out we are like like just 30, 30 seconds behind. <laughs> this voice just delayed. It's no surprise that the Berserker gets banned here. Like they have Kimmy, his most favorite hero. I yeah. think he has been dominating many games with this hero. Yep. It's just it's a very you know smork go hero. Although the, I will say, like Lords of Force Ultimate does not get reduced by Berserker Ultimate, so that is true. If you like, on one hand, I I wouldn't say Berser like Lords of Force is as strong as against the Berserker as it is against uh, a Malakan, for example. Mm -hmm. I think the Malakan is a lot more countered by it because Malakan is does not have the same DPS output. That's true. Um, but if you just go for like armor boots, what else do we see on, on those four gnomes? Wisdom, she picked up every now and then. Mm. I love that build. Like you can just kind of sit in front of the berserker and just kind of bully him. Um, Shaman picked up here. Yeah. We have seen the man Shaman picked up like so much recently. I must say I've seen this hero more and more in uh, both TMM and tournaments recently. I haven't really seen it in TMM too much. No? No. Well, I haven't really played TMM too much. Yeah. <laughs> Could be the reason. <laughs> I don't think those two things are correlated. However, um, yeah, actually, so the first time I've really seen it picked up is last Pro Tournament. Mm -hmm. Specifically by... Beans' team. And I think it was also so specifically to counter the, the raid boss Armadon. Yeah. Uh, Hammerstorm. Oof. The big threat. Yeah, they do have the bad Shaman. Tempest. And Tempest. Wow. Tempest seems like a greedy pick to me. Because <clears throat> if I'm looking at the heroes in the Legion team. Yeah. There's like a lot of heroes that need farm. So both Sephoris and Hammerstorm are like soak heroes. You need to farm on those heroes for them to be... Like you need them to be at least like 400 GPM for them to have a lot of impact. Pharaoh can suffer a bit. So I do like the Pharaoh here. Yeah. but I, I agree with you. Tempest was a very greedy pickup here with Hammerstorm and Sephoris. So what... Like how is the Hellboard go to respond, do you think? Hmm... I do feel they need another uh, Tempest Canceller. So far, they only have Devo. Yeah, there we go. Ronos pick. Now, I will say there is not a lot of... Um, like, ranged support for the Kronos. And also, the Empath is, of course, like, a good counter against Kronos. As we've yeah. talked about before. Because if you just Empath jump the carry... Even if the carry gets Kronos ultimated, you can still storm. You can yep. still tablets. Let's get it on. You basically can just assist him. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Kronos is of course like one of those heroes that can just kind of 1v5 if you have enough farm. That is true. It's a very dangerous hero if it gets the Yeah. Farm. Like he did like just in general, like Resto ultimates is powerful for sure but if the Kronos is not having a good game uh, where is the damage coming from this is the thing that I'm wondering hmm I mean if Bramble gets some decent farm he can do some tremendous damage as well yeah so it, yeah it's going to be Bramble plus scrap in the bottom lane as we expected yeah Tempest, I think, is likely going to focus on farming here. Uh, I think. Ward coming out there from Vertigo to spot out ganks. 
Yeah. I don't know if it's going to be in time though. Because, you know, the Empath Wall can really catch Scrap off guard. That is true. The Bramble's not likely going to fall, I would say. But <clears throat> also, like, uh, compared to something like Electrician plus Scrap, Bramble plus Scrap has much more delayed initiation. Yeah. There's not a lot of, like, uh, defensive utility on the Legion side, besides just um, the heal from the Empath, but you don't really want to use the heal defensively. Um, so, I, th I think the Hellborn side, I would play this slowly as the Hellborn side. I would. You don't necessarily want to commit super hard. You kind of want to whittle them down with the scrap and the bramble. Empath counter the ward here. Oh, yeah. Bottom. Ghosting confirmed. <laughs> okay, uh, mid lane. So, Forest versus Devo. Oof. Who's uh, favorite in your opinion? Definitely Sephoris. Just yep. too strong against Devar. There's not really much you can do. Like in general, just like the, the 15 true damage is always something that's rough to go up against, right? Yeah. He just heals too much and has too much damage against Devo. The only it, way I feel like you can kill a Sephoris with a Devo is if you hook him into the tower at level 6. Maybe you can manage to kill him off them. Yeah, because like in general, also Sephoris just has so much like starting H HP. Yeah, look at that harass. Yep. And now he needs to use his pot. Meanwhile, Sephora is still full HP. Yeah. So, okay, that's likely going to be uh, a victory or sort of a, a good lineup for uh, a matchup for Devour here. Yeah. Devour, not really a hero we see on a plate on a position two very often, have we? No. You mostly see it roaming around. Yep. Being sneaky like Sunk Bob. Sneaky Sunk. Um, so I think they're very happy with that matchup here. Also, what do you think about Hammerstorm not buying a, a Lunar Tear for the second time? But actually, in the bottom lane, we see Bramble going in oh. with his Q. What the Empath is going to be in a bit of trouble. Scrap does oh. not have level 2 yet. That's a good wall, though. Wow. Empath's wall is going to be able to save his life. And he's going to be fine. But that was a, so much damage. It was. Without scrapping level 2. They are getting really scary on the bottom lane with uh, Scrap and Bramble when they hit level 3, I would say. In general, like... Damage. In, in general, just level 2 is what you need. Because, yeah. like, look, look at the damage abilities on Scrap. Like, level 1 Zoomerang, 120 damage. Level 1 Mousetrap, 140 damage. It's a lot more than I expect. Or, like, uh, than you can expect. Yet again, Empath does... Heal a lot with his Q. Yep. Uh, they're actually going to uh, put a little bit of back and forth here. Yeah. Okay, so lo no tear on the hammer storm, but he did pick up a both a chalice and a battery. I specifically like the battery here because the enemy team is likely just to spam spells. Uh, yeah. And if you get the passive heal from the empaths, it's of course like just some nice sustain for yourself. But uh, definitely a good pickup. I think since the lanes are going quite even, I think Pharaoh is also doing quite all right in the top lane, and the bottom lane isn't losing. Oh, the main are getting yeah. ahead, right? Top lane. Oh, sorry, top lane. A Pharaoh is getting jumped by the Kronos. His Q is maybe saving him a little bit here. Oh. The Kronos cannot get an auto attack oh. in. Pharaoh is oh. not going to be able to survive there. I think his. Hellfire was running out there, that's why he went for the last auto attack. He did some decent damage, but in the end it's not enough to actually save his life or secure a turn kill. So that means that there is actually going to be a bloodlust kill for Kronos, and that's pretty huge for him. Yeah. It's gonna speed up things for him a little. So, item-wise then, for the Kronos, what would you expect? What would you like? I would expect uh, the classical steam boots with a thunderclaw. Oh, sorry, uh, just got you off there. In the bottom lane, we see Kronos. Sorry, I mean uh, Hammerstorm going in together with the Empath on the 
Bramble. I, that's I a haste of forest coming in though. So forest is smelling blood. A W from the Bramble on himself to try and save his life, but it's not going to be enough. There's a forest there to pick up oh, two no. kills. That is a really good rune to have. Amazing haste. Honest of forest. Yeah. yeah, it's just. I, I just like actually realized Bramble W is a really good ability, but Sephora's just completely counters that. Yeah, it does. Because the what it uh, does is 30% of the damage you take gets applied as healing in like an AoE around you. But it's literally useless if you get Sephora's ultimate. So that's like a defensive tool that they can't really utilize properly. It's... it's I, th I think if you're... Oh, actually, sorry. In the bottom line, we see Bramble going in on the Hammerstorm. Hammerstorm getting mousetrapped as well. He does have a stun ready. The Empath actually using his Q offensively. And there comes the, sh uh, the Tempest. That's a double ultimate. ultimate. Hammerstorm coming in for some auto attacks. Hammerstorm might actually be... Uh, have to be careful here, because the strap is going for the turn kill, but Mousetrap doesn't hit the second time. And I don't middle. think it's... Um, middle, actually. Oh! Both faults. Devo and Salforce goes down. I think that is something that Devo is more than happy with, actually. Because Devour only being... Oh, no, Devour is actually 300 TPM. Salforce being a little bit higher. But I would say it should, it should be easier for the Salforce to kill the Devo than the other way around. Yeah, definitely. Um, going back to the Chronos, actually, because I don't think we talked, we finished our thought about that. Um, so, very simple Cleaver or Hypercron or Aquans. I think we're gonna see. A oh, wait, 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 it's in the middle lane. That's a huge hook from Devour. The, the Sephora's might be in a bit of trouble. Oh, the Pharaoh no. there to save his life. Tempest also there. The Devourer might be in a little bit of trouble. We see Kronos oh, pulling in. That's a Kronos ultimate oh. on top. So Forest is going to likely fall here. However, I see no more mana on the Kronos. Oh, that's a huge swap and a great hook. That was an insane hook from Devourer. Saving the Kronos life. Kronos without any mana there in a very awkward spot. Devourer. Is this just Sunk Pop on a Smurf? I feel like it is, isn't it? It has to be. That was a great hook. Oh, when I look at the bottom lane, we see the man Shaman, Bramble, and Scrap all here. It's hiding, actually. So, uh, wow. The man Shaman actually. Uh, uh, there, uh, it's just sitting in the trees there for quite a while, I believe. Is Hammerstorm thinking about going in? That's the, the rocket from the Pharaoh, but it's Whoa. not going to be enough. And they want to go in, but they both die to the turn kill. I think the demanded shaman heal did so much work there at the end. Yeah. Slightly uh, overcommitting there on the Hammerstorm and Empath. Yeah, like Hammerstorm uh, being a bit more ballsy than he probably should be at such low HP. Yeah. We see Sephora's clearing up some stacks. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I feel like he should not be in the jungle right now. Where do you feel like he should be then? Uh... Just pushing out middle lane as much as he possibly can. Mm -hmm. I think since Devour is mid lane, you should not get hooked. In theory. Right? Yeah, you're right. In theory. Because, like, Devour is really scary to play against. If, like, there's not a carry that, oh, sorry, not a stun that can set up for him. Or when you can't see him. Meanwhile, okay, speaking of Devourers that you can't see, big and that's a hook! hook. That's wow. a huge hook! There is a Tempest with an ultimate though, so the Mousetrap is going to lock him down for now, and that's a four man! Ultimate! The, the, the Sephora is in the, the midst of it all, is going to have a queue up, and that's going to be a quad kill for the Lords of Force. Kronos being the only survivor, Kronos running for his life right now. Sephora is on the chase, Sephora oh smells the Annihilation, oh. and he's not going to get it. Honestly, that that is just like bad manners from from the Kronos, isn't it? Yeah, he should definitely just die on purpose there to give him the annihilation. Like I I, I think we can we can forgive him. Like you said, just as lag. It was lag. I was standing still there for five seconds. 
But yeah, that was a really good hook to start. But like Sephora's Q in the early game does so much damage. <laughs> Five seconds cooldown for 370 magic damage. What do you think of the post haste coming out on Sulphorus here as his first item? Oh my... I, um, what do you think about that, Dutch? Is it the right way to go? No. No. I, 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 I don't see the argument oh. for it. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I, especially against the Demanded Shaman and Kronos going for a Malfrat. You need to arm more, right? Yeah, he needs to tank up. I'm think. Okay, so I would, I would have likely... Gone for tablets, armor boots, maybe a gnomes after, and just tank up like that, right? Yeah, definitely. I must say, I'm really surprised of the post haste. I did not see that coming at all. Did he have? Did he have striders already? No, he uh, goes marches, right? No, no, did he? I'm not sure. Maybe I. I don't. I don't think I ever saw ghost marchers. I'm going into the way back machine. Um, checking stream back now. Coming no. out there on the Sorry, there's a hook on the uh, Ampad. Ampad in a bit of trouble. And that's a huge ultimate from Kronos. Kronos getting a 3 man ultimate in the back line, but he has to go back now because he gets a Sephora's ultimate. It's Bramble on the front line. Bramble, no ultimate specifically. Tempest That's is very here. low. He's going to get chased down by Devourer here. Devourer is going to get the kill, but Devourer is so low. Sephora's with double damage, chasing them down. And only the two supports are back alive here. Sephora's is cleaning them up left and right. The Man Shaman also going to fall. And Another havoc. Like, there's a force on the roll here. You can't be stopped. He's strong. Yeah, like, the Sephora is at this point. I, I would say that was a good ultimate by Kronos, right? Definitely a good ultimate. But as I think we talked about before, he just kind of started hitting them and he hits like a wet noodle at the moment. Yeah. So it's no range support, it's no range DPS. If they like don't. this was uh, like a bombardier in the mid lane instead of like a Devo. I think there was three deaths there. Yeah. They don't really have that much damage unless his whole team is ready for Kronos ultimate. Yeah. They don't have a lot of damage in general, I feel. Because, like, Scrap is more about, like, Look incremental damage, yeah. actually. Devour. Getting wow, a hook here on the, the Iron Storm. They're dodged, he's dodged the Kronos Q with that hook, you could say. Yeah. Um, but in the end, he's going to die the Hammerstorm there. I think Hammerstorm is not really having a good game, right? It's definitely not. He's 0 3 and 320 GPM. Because in this fight in the top lane, all that time the Hammerstorm was just chilling in the jungle. He wasn't even there. Yeah. Actually, we do see Sulphorus pick up the gnomes here, so I do like that. That's a good item. Yeah. I think just in general, like the team item. Uh, or the team, um, how do you call it? Presence that like the domes provides is always insane. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> what do you think is the item coming in on the Tempest here? With the, another Pickle Brain. Is that a Jade Spire? I'm guessing. Yeah. Maybe his team like told him to get a brain and he took it too <laughs> literal. That yeah, always happens, big right? Possibility. By Pickled Brain, noob, te noob Tempest. Yeah, that's going to be Jay Spire. I said the Manitou pickup. Interesting choice there. Would you rather li like to see like a PK or any other items? Shrunken, right? Shrunken, very uh, good. So I would have liked a Gnome's Wisdom on the Tempest if you didn't already have one on the Sephora's. But since that is uh, like you already have one on the Sephora's, don't really need it. Um. But I don't really... S so I would like to see... I would have liked to maybe see an Alk Bounce into the Shrunken. Because if you get the Alk Bounce on the Tempest, I think you can farm a little bit more aggressively. And like, taking the big creeps is always a big, a bit awkward as a Tempest. Yeah. Because the Minotaur stuns, the Catman splashes. Oh, by the way, look at this. Devour actually cleaning up some stacks here. Hmm, interesting. 
Well, he I wouldn't need... mind him to just use the Invis, actually. Because he uses his ultimate to try and to try and kill the stacks. Yeah. Wait, is he gonna leave it like that? Looks like it. Maybe he just wants to set up a kill here. The Vagabond leader is gonna heal back up. Slowly. Maybe. I think they will pop his Invis here and try to hook the Tempest, maybe. Yeah, they are four people here, and Kronos, sorry, Pharaoh does have uh, his ultimate. I, oh, ooh, that was almost a really good hook. I will say, by the way, that I also really like the Pharaoh build here. Armor Boots is, yeah, I think, really good on the uh, on the Pharaoh. Oh, look Tempest at the deal here. out. The Pharaoh oh. has a hook up. Oh. Oh. But he doesn't go for the easy hook, he goes for the hard hook. Oh wait, it's a force. I don't think you want to be there, buddy. And that oh. is going to be a dead Sephoris, and that is a savage chick streak that suddenly goes to the scrap. I am not sure that Sephoris really wanted to go in there when no. two of your teammates just poured it out. That's a really good kill for Kronos. 700 gold, just like that. No, scrap got the kill. Oh, sorry, yeah, scrap. But still, it doesn't like, yeah, it's. It's a big streak that suddenly like goes to your team. And yeah. Kronos is like... Um, oh, wow. Um, he goes for Foldstone into the Elder Parasite. Mm. I think I like Elder Parasite before Thunderclaw. Because... Uh, I don't know how much Kronos you play. Uh, not so much, but uh, a fair amount, I would say. So, yeah... Uh, uh, like, what is your personal favorite? Let's let's ask it this way: a Cleaver or Thunderclaw on the cross? Thunderclaw by far. Why? Thunderclaw, definitely. I just feel like you do no damage with the Cleaver. You have to prolong fighting when the meta is fighting. Yeah, I I, I can definitely see that. How I, I however do believe that like if you go late game with the Chronos, you usually are in a good position. Usually. Usually, yeah. Um, although I will say specifically this game against the Tempest, I'm not sure that holds. But um, like Thunderclaw on the, with a Kronos just means that like it's farming ancients, farming stacks is just so awkward. And you usually, I feel like you need to go Elder Parasite before Thunderclaw. Uh, and especially this game, like I don't. I think you'll do enough damage with the Demand Shaman against uh, with Cleaver. Because mm -hmm. you did mainly want physical damage against the enemy team with the, if you have a Demand Shaman on your, on your team. The minus armor is just too big for that. The minor armor. Minus armor is really good. Now, I will say though, if I were this Kronos, I would have one picked up a battery a while ago. Because I've seen him without mana a couple of times now. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, but. Um, I would have not gone for the Knuckles. I would have gone for Elder Parasite into the Thunderclaw, probably. Because with those two items, you can kind of farm jungle. Yeah. I don't see much point of buying Knuckles on Kronos, to be fair. I think it's a waste um, of gold. I could see it if you are under pressure. And if you are, yeah. like, the... If, if, if you just want to manage the game. Because um, Kronos can be used or can be played aggressively. And oh, that's a good hook on the Ampad there. Devour is likely going to get a kill here. I don't see Ampad living through this one. Ampad was busy counterboarding there. But here comes oh, the team support. Oh, Look at this. Oh, so Faris oh, going in. Faro missing his ultimate indeed. The man in a bit of trouble. The man is in. Oh, 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 no. No. Undeserved. Oh. Wait, did he not have escape? He still does not have escape. Oh, now he levels it. Ah, like a cape on the man shaman, just a passive one is so good. Yeah, it really it is. basically gives you like plus two hundred max health. You can see it as. It's like two congors almost. Yeah, I look at this by the way. Kronos together with this team just cleaning up ancients. But like, if he had cleaver, he could do the solo. He could have. But without. I, I like that his team is helping him here. Oh, by the way, that's a good ward by Empath, blocking the Ancients there and giving huge vision. Um, Hammerstorm, meanwhile, recovering, but still not being really in a position where he wants to be. Yeah. Uh, 
though. Why do they Armstrong setting up for the on the Chronos? It's a TP support coming in. Who is that? That is going to be Sephoris. Sephoris picking up an Energizer. Mm. Going full movement speed. <laughs> he wants I, that I, I cannot disagree with that. <laughs> right? I can only give my thumbs up for that. Movement speed is the king. Exactly. Like, why do you need, like, survivability tools if you can just outrun the noobs? Because <laughs> there's not a lot of catch on the enemy team, right? That's true. Yeah, this Devour, oh. but if you don't get hooked, oh. like this Tempest. Oh, it too. oh my god, Pharaoh. I haven't seen Pharaoh hit a single ultimate, I think. Uh. Has he? Oh, oh there, there comes the Hammer Storm from the side on the Bramble. The Bramble's oh, not really Tempest. just going to go for Tempest ultimating only the Devour, though. But Kronos isn't there. Kronos is only half HP and he's in the bottom lane. He doesn't have mana either. That's a Heimer Storm stun under the Man Shaman. The Man Shaman going down. Scrap the only survivor of that team fight. That was... I think just the, the lead of the Legion team shining through there. And them capitalizing on it. it does not look good for Hellborn's side though. Another three kills for the Sephora's by the way. Yeah. Uh, that's his third hat trick this game, on top of a quad kill. Yeah, so two two quad kills. Sorry, two two hat tricks and a quad kill. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's on a roll. And this like he bought something. It can only be a, a wind whistle, right? <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you, Dash, but I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, can we report him if he doesn't? <laughs> what do you think he's buying here? I think he's tanking up with something. Or maybe a tablet. So, tablet is not that great against uh, the Bramble. No, it's uh, not. Ice Brands. Oh, he's probably going for Frostal Skull. Look at yeah. this, Devour is in position. Devour is ready to hook the Tempest. Tempest Big. is not getting hooked there. There's no ultimate out of Tempest, but Tempest does have a Shaman's Hedros actually. And that's a huge wall actually from the Pharaoh. Trying to save his Tempest, but he's not going to be able to. Look at that, Kronos is again, stuck in the trees. The Pharaoh is going down. Kronos is stuck in the trees. He cannot do anything. The trees no. respond. It started saving his, oh. like, the team's life. And that's a good Kronos ultimate. They're able to finish after the Sephora's. Another big streak. Going this time in favor of Kronos. Kronos getting a hardcore griefed by the trees there. Yeah. Meanwhile, but Hammerstorm again wasn't there. Mm. What do you think about this fight? Should they even take the fight being up there when Hammerstorm is not even close to them? And specifically because they did not have like a Tempest ultimate. Yeah, that's true. I think they were overconfident because of the wards. Yeah, definitely. But that ward does not scout out. Devour is sitting in trees like that. So I will say, this, this Devour is playing really well. And the Devour here smoking oh, up. Oh, what is he going to do? I think he is... I, I was going to say, maybe he realized that this guy was doing Conger. Because yeah. he is actually soloing Conger. Is he going to be able to do this? Yep. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't do a dodge. Unlucky. <laughs> uh, Forex, really meanwhile, cool. doing Forex things in the bottom lane. Yeah, I think that's going to be like a, a Frost of Skull on the Lords of Force, right? And yeah, I, yeah, I think so. I really like it specifically because the Devourer is always setting up hooks. Knowing where the Devourer is makes like dodging his hooks like 10 times easier. Yeah, you're right. It's a really good item spotting off your enemy. Okay, by the way, I see that the Devourer has an Invis rune. Ooh. Hammerstorm might want to be a little bit careful. He's okay, out. he's not going to be greedy. Oh, I just saw Sephora's pick up a light brand. Oh, it's a Dawnbringer. Yeah, I mean, I don't hate it. But I don't I like don't it either. No, uh, I think the Frostful was better, but... Yep. He has bought it now. So I think... If you needed more carry potential, I could see this, the Dawnbring on a Sephora's. Because the force can like just the shaman here going in, getting picked off. Oh, actually, the man shaman getting picked off indeed in the back line there. I'm not sure. Did he just walk up or something? Just walked up. He was going to try to ward, but unfortunately they were ready for him. Okay, uh, what about if you were to get uh, what is it called? The the minus um, arm of the mad mage on 
Oh, and that is a token. That is a token. I think we're gonna be seeing a lot of fighting now. And pushing. But, well, to be fair, they haven't really... Like, not done that because they didn't have token or something, you know? Actually, yeah. Devour is going to run Issa Force. Issa Force is one oh. speedy boy, and he does have like a good slow event. That's a Kronos coming oh, in, no. and they're collapsing on Issa Force. Issa Force is going to go down instantly. Here comes the Tempest, though, but the Hammerstorm, no. once again, not there. Kronos ultimates right on top. Tempest is going to fall. What is Tempest really going to do? Why are they going in? Oh, Both Hammerstorm yeah. and Empath were not there. Not good. Like, they weren't even close. And now look at look they gonna oh. keep up here. And that is a three man port in the bottom lane. They they lack catch without Devour though. Oh yeah. Devour is peeking oh. now though. Devour is on the chase. And I don't think they saw him going to the left side there at all. Look at Hammer here. He wants to turn here maybe. Hammer like buddy. Oh, shaman. Oh buddy, no. I don't oh, think yeah. you want to do that. That's a hook oh, on the man no. Shaman. I think he. Oh, the, the cleave! <laughs> okay, Kronos specifically not there though. So this might actually be a huge fight for the Hellbirds of Elite inside here. The Hammerstorm is chasing. Kronos is going in right now. He has oh, Geobane, no. but is it going to be enough? So Hammerstorm is going to fall. Hammerstorm, Hammerstorm is once again, here. but he doesn't have his ultimate now. Hammerstorm is going to fall yeah. once again. And that is a huge overcommitment Very from huge. the Leech inside. Yeah. Uh, I will say though, I think that was a first hit bash. Kronos just went in, boom, bash. Yeah. Always love it when it happens. <laughs> but like, you, you have to wonder. Well, actually, okay, so I have to wonder two things. One, why is Hammerstorm not getting a shrunken? And two, like, should you really be fighting that? No, he should not. He should just have went back with Ampeth when he could. How much time did he have left on his token? Um, no, not long. Because I, I, I can't imagine that he just kind of wanted to get value out of his token. Yeah. But that's still not a good reason to suicide there. What do you uh, think? Actually, okay, look at this. Um, Devour finding oh, two oh, guys. Yeah. Both Pharaoh and Tempest there. Tempest yep. popping in ultimate, but the team support once again not there. Hammerstorm just spawning in. Hammerstorm, Hammerstorm is in. not going to be in time there. That instantly Pharaoh dying. Devour is going to die to the force ultimate, but here comes the Hammerstorm. Kronos ultimate. Uh, Kronos not being there currently. He's healing up in the background. He has an ultimate up actually. Look at this. If that's if he's going there, that's a, going to maybe be a huge ultimate. But he chooses to not commit oh. to that. Okay, now Garbistorm goes. Uh, sorry, Kronos goes in. That's a big <laughs> ultimate. Hammerstorm is getting locked down. There's no Geo Bane on the Kronos. Kronos is not going to be able to do much there. And Sephora just finishes off both the Bramble and the, the man Shaman, I think, were there. Kronos yeah, had not to get out there. Kronos at this point just doesn't do enough damage, right? No, it doesn't. Should he maybe have gone Hypercron? Oh, no, he's not going to be able to find the Kronos there. Because, okay, he's going for Hypercron now, I'm assuming. But I'm I'm looking at this Geobane. And I'm slightly wondering why. What is it for, exactly? I mean, I, I, I think it's just a comfort build. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it, it it's a good item. It can be used to dodge hammer stun and other. Yeah. But in like in general, hypercron is like two times the damage of the. Oh, that's a good dodge actually of the Kronos of the hammer stun Q. I mean, but hypercron is like two times the damage that the the Thunder Claw provides. Yeah. Dawnbringer being picked up now on this little forest. Yeah, that's not a big shock, I would say. <laughs> and he is like tanky right now. But oh, what do you what do you think of the mad mage? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh. I thought actually Kronos running into the Empath here. Empath might just Kronos. straight up oh, die. Oh, that is Hammerstorm in a bad position. Hammerstorm getting ultimated by Devour, but oh, there is the Pharaoh oh, to save him. Hammerstorm is going oh, down. Oh, oh, no Tempest ultimate, but it's a big brawl right now. Kronos going full hand. Kronos not being ultimated by the, the Sephora. Uh, Sephora's ultimate got used oh. to someone else's death on the Bramble, it seems. Kronos in the back line. Yeah, Kronos is going to be able to finish off the Sephora. The Devour hooked the Tempest. Tempest in a lot of trouble right now. Devour is getting low, but I don't think it's going to be enough to finish off the Devour there. That's Bramble. a fight for zero. That is a huge, 
huge team fight without the Kronos ultimate, notably. Yeah. I do feel, again, though, that the Legion team overcommitted because they did not have a Tempest ultimate this fight either. Um, yeah, but they also did not have Kronos ultimates. That is true. I think, uh, actually, a big thing that happened there was Sephora's ultimate not ultimating the Kronos. Yeah. Or Sephora's not ultimating Kronos. He ultimated the Bramble with a barrier. True. Not the best choice. No. Because if he ultimates Kronos there, specifically because they also have like the Manet Shaman and like Kronos using Elder, mm -hmm. I think the Kronos just kind of dies there, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh. The breastplate, am I seeing? I like it. I like yeah. it a lot, actually. Really good item pick up here. Yeah, look, he's just going for like an aura, an aura build, I mean. Yeah. It Which was. Is, I, yeah, it was what you want to do, because he has the HP pull right now. He just needs a little bit of armor, because a, a very large portion of the damage from the Hellborn side is still going to be physical damage. Yeah. Legion looks like they want to kill Kongor again here on their side. Yeah, they've been very diligent when it comes to killing Kongors. Forex, uh, yeah. meanwhile, doing Forex things in the bottom lane. <laughs> Pushing, killing creeps. Yep. And denying himself. Look at that damage on Hammerstorm. Uh, yeah, so... Okay, so let's talk... Uh, what I would consider the questionable item choices of the Legion side. Tempest, Shaman's Hatteras, and Astro and Jade Spire. And then <laughs> Hammerstorm, no Shrunken. That's true. Yeah, and no Wind Whistle. What are your thoughts about this? I'm really surprised that Tempest didn't try go for a PK at all. He went barrier. Yeah. I understand he wants to be a bit tanky and all, but only tanky? I don't know. Feel yeah, like I also, I also like what what's what magic damage is coming out from the Legion side here? From the Hellbound yeah. side, I mean. Right. That's the good question. It's like Bramble Al. No, that's fine. Oh, that wait, 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 look at this. Oh. Kronos smoked up, Bramble also being there. Oh. oh, that's an ultimate from the from the Kronos yes. on two no. people there. Tempest instantly gonna go down. The Emperor is not going to be able to catch him there. Wait, that's a but that's Ooh, a an ultimate on the Hammerstorm. Hammerstorm oh. is not going to be able to be finished off. Hammerstorm just tree smacked the Kronos back to the well. Now it's a forest plus Hammerstorm against the world here. Scrap is running for his life. Scrap is stabbing over the edge. Oh. And so forest just chasing down the rest. I don't think he's going to be able to finish off the man Shaman here. And Bramble also somehow lived there. But that was what I would consider kind of a decent initiation. However... Boss. The Pharaoh actually managed to ultimate out of the Kronos ultimate. So Kronos, Kronos jumped like there. three people there, right? Yeah. Yeah, he killed Tempest immediately as fast as he could. Um, do they see this? They absolutely see this. Yeah. Can I do something about it? My answer is no, but who knows? They might try to gamble. I mean, I saw like a good steal from, a, from an Apex yesterday. Token of uh, life again on Hammerstorm. Oh my god, look at the bottom lane. Yeah. Like, I I, I, I moan every time I see Forex. Just... <laughs> it's an annoying monster. They haven't hit the bottom tower a single time, the Hellborn team. Like, they haven't been there. They haven't done anything to... It's, it's just a Forex going bottom lane. Over and over and over again. And like this is also, I think, like why Scrap is at 320 or 250. Oh, Hammerstorm. Oh, Hammerstorm actually being caught there by Devour, but that's a Hammerstorm with a token. Are you sure you want to go there, buddy? Okay, Devour surviving for now. Kronos jumping in. The, the Pharaoh is going to fall. Uh, Hammerstorm, for once, making the smart decision to go back instead of uh, forward. And also, uh, wow, look at this. Sephora is picking up a full Rest demonic. Oof. And keeping it on um, plus now, that's something I really like. Yeah. 
a staff on Bramble being picked up here. Um, when yeah, do you look I see to staff the Chronos. You think? Oh wow! Look at the charges that he has, by the way. Yeah, sixteen charges. That's, That's a plus tank twenty-six one. percent max health. Do you have to kind of wonder though? Does that mean you get like four shots instead of three shots by the hammerstorm? Mm. I'm a little bit surprised though that I don't see um, a mystic vestment on uh, Bramble nor Demented Shaman this game. Uh, well, Bramble has a barrier. That is true, Grudge. I am griefing. So I think, like, if he were to pick up a Mystic Festivals right now, <laughs> that would be a grounds for, like, a report. Ah, uh, forgive me for that. Um, but yeah, the demanded the Shaman... I mean, I, th I think it's just, like, lack of gold, if nothing else. Yeah. I think they had a tough game. Actually, Scrap does have gnomes, though. Before a little bit of magic ar AoE magic armor. Okay, so Forex was bottom again, but actually Lords of Forest did some on a smoking bottom here. On uh, Forex side. violence. We do indeed see the Kronos smoking up here. Oh, oh and that's a big, that's a blind jump, but that's going to be enough. Is it going to be enough? Actually, so Forest is so tanky. There's no Kronos wow. like Geobane. And oh, look at this Devour going in. Is it going to be enough to finish him off? Yes, it is. Finally, is without that Geobane. Kronos Token really popping hammer popping is out. Oh, oh wow! No. It's, he's so aggressive. Token out in five seconds. There's actually the, the Pharaoh going in. Tempest oh, ultimate. Oh, Tempest gets oh, ultimate gets cancelled by the Pharaoh uh, by the by something there. I didn't know. Actually, Demon Sham probably. Hammerstorm putting in auto attacks. The team is falling. Hammerstorm oh, oh. is taking hammer actually. Kronos jumping in, but I'm not sure Kronos wants to do that. Yes, he does. Absolutely. He is going to get a quad kill there, and he's going to clean up the team. That's another the 5 for zero for the Hellborn team. Tempest ultimate instantly getting cancelled again. And I, like, it, it's... I'm so surprised by how these team fights are going, because this is like an... A Kronos without an uh, an alt, uh, sorry, without a shrunken. Yeah. He didn't even have an ultimate. It's true. Hammerstorm choosing to commit to the tower there when he doesn't have either shrunken or like token, because the token was running out in like five seconds there prior to the start of the team fight. So I feel like um, this game is legions to lose. I feel the same. Especially and now, Kronos picked up a Resto Stone. That is... Wait, does he have enough mana? He's gonna have enough mana if he has full from the beginning. Okay, so... Q is 120, 110. Two ultimates, 400, so that's 500. Resto is 375, so that's... 900 plus mana usage. Oh, uh, that's, that's not that's counting Geobane. Oh, I just noticed. Yes, that's a staff, actually. Bramble yeah. staffed him. Yep. Now his teammate can do damage inside his ulti and also auto-attack and use spells. I mean... Yeah, 80% slower. Yeah. But I guess the, the rot from Devour still does full damage. That's true. Like, I, like it's, it's, it sounds really good when you think like, okay, let's... You know, uh, you can do damage. Yeah. Oh, Paradise Griefing. Nice. Paradise Griefing. No worries. <laughs> as usual. Yeah. Actually, I just I just noticed as well that they have like a team that gets like increasingly tanky as the game goes on on the Legion side or Hellborn side. Yep. With both Bramble and Devour getting tankier the, the longer the game goes on. Look at that uh, plate mail being picked up on Sulphorus. Even more armor getting picked up. Yes, yeah, so I would have loved for Sephoris to pick up the armor of the Mad Mage. Yeah. Because, like, the way that you die as Sephoris, I think is going to be like a storm cloud most of the time. But maybe he's going for Fossil Plate. I could see that actually as well. That's also a very good item. Because, like, 
30% attack speed slow if you activate it and 10% attack speed slow like passively. That does like hurt the Kronos quite a bit, I think. It does. So what do you think is the hammer choice of items here? He's going towards a behemoth's heart or a symbol of rage? Bloodborne Maul. Bloodborne Maul might be it. Absolutely. I mean... I, I'm just amazed he's not going for a shrunken. Still. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> I pick up a shrunken. Yes! Like, I know there's like... A lot of physical damage from the Hellborn team, but also because of the and Shaman, but still, like the Hypercrown is still a large part of the Chronos damage. Yeah. Chronos does have 370 attack damage with like a double damage, but like you already have so much armor. I guess he just wants to survive the double Chronos ultimate, but I don't think a heart is going to allow you to survive that. It's not. It's just like, too, too much. Just get in a Deep's Cloak if you really want to live. That's not a bad item. Really? <laughs> I mean... Okay, so... <sighs> they also don't really have a Pika in the Armor Storm. They have like a tablet now on the Empaths. I would have liked for Sephora's to just pick up a sheep stick, honestly. A sheep for the catch potential? Yeah, of course, Kronos. Just yeah. Like, go, go on Kronos for once. True. If they catch Kronos and kill him, they win the fight immediately. Yep. It's like such a single core. Um, like, although they don't have like something like um, a PK to follow up on that sheep stick. That is true. They only um, have their ultimate. But even like it, just being able to be outside and Kronos going in, and like not catching Sephora's, you can just cheap the, the Kronos then, and he doesn't do damage for three seconds or three and a half seconds. That that's still huge. It's still good, definitely. Yeah. I do feel like this is Hellborn's game now. If I'm not completely going uh, ahead myself here. But... No, I think you're absolutely right there. So like the resto on Kronos is just so. It's a game changer, right? It is. Because prior to this, he has he had 5 seconds of his ultimate. Now he has 12 seconds. I would say everything depends on the initiation error. Who catches who first. Yeah. And... Um, what do you think like on items... Item-wise on Kronos? I do like the items except that last item for the Savage Mage. Or the Doombringer. Does... Kronos needs, because I feel like they have not been able to hit the Sephora's ultimate on the Kronos. Yeah. Like, at all. I would say maybe a... Uh, oh, look at this. Actually, five oh, men there. They look want to this. go. The Smelling Blood Scrap is not there, but the rest of the entire team is oh, there. They're going on a Bramble, this. but that is not what the target you want to go on, buddy. Oh. He's, he actually agrees. It's so like, ah, if I'm gonna catch the Bramble, ah, nah, no thank you. They are saying, you know, let's go back to Congor. Yep. I uh, <laughs> like, there's so much HP on the Legions, on the Hellborn side. Yeah. I'm seeing, but... I feel like none of it matters. If you look at, like, meaningful HP... I said Devourer is a tanky boy. But is he a threat? Not really, I would say. I would say not at all. Right? What does he really do against something like a Hammerstorm? He can lock down the Hammerstorm. Actually, oh, Hammerstorm might be in a bit of trouble here. Oh. Kronos, Devour, and actually... Oh, that took... No, it's not going to be enough. Devour, not really having the farm for something like a staff here. But... Now Honestly, look at them here going on the top lane. You think they're going for the push here? All in for the push? I I, I think so. They don't have proper vision here. Uh, that's like a five man TP back. Kronos wanting to Sorry, go in. That's oh, just oh, a solo oh, ultimate on the Kronos, on the Sephora's. Actually, Hammerstorm also walked into that. There's one more ultimate from oh, the Kronos, Kronos ultimate. 
So in Tempest Ultimate, on the Kratos, Kratos cutting lockdown. He used both ultimates, is not oh, able to get no. anything done with that support right ultimate. Kratos going yeah. to fall here. Hammerstorm thinking, let's just get the Rex. And he's going to get that. That wow, Bramble with here. all oh, his tankiness also not able to. But look at this, by the way. Look at the bottom lane. I look don't want to say like hashtag <laughs> bloody Vorax, but Vorax wow. just pushed a tower and a Rex. Yeah. So in the end, it's a one for one. Oh, and it's a buyback on Kronos? Yeah, he did buy back there. But I don't know for what, but he did buy back. He didn't have shrunk. Uh, so he didn't have like ultimates. No, he didn't. Oh, Kronos trying to do the conqueror. Will they contest him? Uh, so they might see this with Hammerstorm Frostwolf yeah, if he pops it here. Oh, Hammerstorm picking up a haste rune. Haste on the hammer. Uh, he is going to oh. scout them out. I guess Bramble is in a bit of an awkward situation there. Get stunned he's here. He's, uh, yeah, but I don't think that Bramble is really going to be in much danger. No. He had no ultimate on hammer right there. No. But also, this like Bramble is is one of the tankiest yeah. uh, players in the team right now. Bramble walking up very oh, aggressively. Hammerstorm yeah. going full smork mode. Bramble yeah. is actually falling here. That's a good hook though from Devour. So Sephora's ultimate on top. I don't think that Bramble is in any danger of actually falling Are they here. But has this Conger or not? They don't have ultimates on Kronos. I don't think they will. So back in the day. Oh, that's a good hook. I don't think you want to be there, Tempe. Uh, There's Kronos. Has been There's nothing you can do. Oh, that's not a token. Yeah, I mean, like, Hammerstorm. Look at his HP, though. Yeah. Oh, I actually love the fact that he went for stats here. Yeah. It's not yeah. movement speed. I would have gotten, like, two points in movement speed at least. So he got at least a little bit higher than 350. Yeah. Um, but he currently has plus 600 max health. They're falling back here. They don't want to push against the Devo hook and no ulti on Hammerstorm. Yeah, and also, like, so 4 is dealing with the uh, 4x in the yeah. middle lane. Because 4x again was, was once again on a mission to destroy all the buildings in the elite inside. He did pick up the Frostfield oh, Blade, as you said. Wait, so what is Tempest doing? Tempest being a bit greedy up there, huh? I mean... Oh, that's a sheep stick on scrap coming out. Oh, that's huge. That's that absolutely huge. Item. I think that's like the item. That's... Also, I think, by the way, staff on Devo is in the making. Yep. I think so too, Dutch. This is like a staff coming. Yeah, so Devo is doing the thing that I always do. Or the mistake that I always make. Instead of like just buying the items, he's saving up. 3k gold. Like, it, it, it's it's nice to have the option, you know? I understand the sentiments. Yeah. Because if, if they're pushing, going for the racks or something, and you only have like 3k, like the glowstone is not going to do anything. No, it's not. Oh, and it's a five-man smoke here. I don't Ooh. think they got scouted out at all, so this is going to be likely a very... Oh, look Important at team fights in a couple of seconds. Hammerstorm in a very aggressive position. Hammerstorm only has like a token for one more minute though. Uh, Empath putting up a ward there. I don't think they saw that at all. Devour walking up, getting a ward of himself. Oh. Uh, oh, he missed the hook. Oh, I think they saw that. I think they saw it with the water side. That was a good ward from the Empath. I think otherwise it may have been the case. That he got hooked there. I honestly yeah. like if I devour, just farm top lane, farm 200 gold, sell bottle, get staff. That's the way to go. Because do you really need bottle at this point? Did I just see a Doombringer ping up on Kronos here? Yes, I did. Uh, That's a Doombringer Kronos. I think like if if he gets a force ultimate, doesn't he just die though? He's 16 on HP. Yeah. He might need to ult the self um, here. He's going to ultimate. They have to ultimate. He, he can't really... Okay, so I think Pharaoh should be close to his part armor. 
Pharaoh not re like is not having a game this today. No, he's <laughs> he's 0, 8, and 17, and I think he's mainly hit creeps with his ultimate. But, on the other hand, look at his HP. 2.5k. 2.5. Max HP. He went for max stats as well. <laughs> Everyone in their T, I believe. Wait. Yeah, Tempest also max stats. So, 4 is 1 in movement speed, the rest in stats. And the Empath max stats. Even Empath got 1.8k HP. <laughs> These 6 Congors is like tanking up the team. Yep. By a total extra amount of 3k HP. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, this is together with like, you have to empath heal on top of that as well. Wait, is Hammerstone buying a wing ball? I think he picked up Fox ball. I think the, the X is silence. Fall bow. Fall bow, that's the one. Fox bow. My 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 inner Frenchman just died a little bit there when he said it. But yeah, um, I I like it. I think. <clears throat> Let's see here. Okay, so yep, actually, wait. We see three people smoking up. Scrap not being there, but the rest of them is. <clears throat> um, so I saw a Slayer in the inventory of the Chronos prior to this, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And of course, that went into the Doombringer, but I don't think they know that. Now. If I were this Hammerstorm, I would say that's likely going to be an Savage Maze. Yeah. So, would this be the moment to not have a buyback and to have to... Oh, actually, are they catching the Tempest there? Tempest once again being caught. Um, I mean, that's... Is that a charge? No. You only get a charge when you get a kill on this, on the Doombringer. Correct. I mean, okay, so the one thing I do like about the Doombringer pickup is a Doombringer on a Hammerstorm is not really going to change that much. It's not. Because he now, he currently has 300 damage. With his ultimate, it's going to be close to 600. Like a Doombringer changing that to 900 is not really that much of a DPS increase. While for the Kronos, it's like double his damage. As, That's like, Congo. they actually take their first Conger of the game. <laughs> How many Congers? Now we like? can be tanky too, like they think. Is this number five? Seven. Oh, they're pushing. Number seven. Seven. Wow. Six stacks on the, uh, on the Legion side. But yeah, Kronos, um, Kronos playing so aggressive. He is. Very Honestly. aggressive here, being in the front line. Wait, do, okay, so... Oh, Pharaoh ulti! Oh, Pharaoh actually going, and Tempest is up, that's why they really are looking to go. Pharaoh... Uh, they're not really to fight, uh, committing to the Pharaoh initiation there. Would you not just buy a staff on the, uh, on the Sephora's here? Hmm. So, you get a staff, you already have 8 charges. So, with a staff, you're... So force ultimate is doing 1.2k magic damage. Yeah. Kronos only has 1700 HP. With the Elder Parasite, that's close to like 1500. I do feel he like a Sheepstick might be the better option in, if they can catch him. Uh, I guess like so force ultimate uh, can get cancelled if force just dies. Yeah. But it's like, is the force going to die? Look at his armor. 46.8 armor. Yes, 6,000 gold on Sephora's here. I honestly, I would say buy staff, upgrade the, uh, upgrade the empath, have the empath permanently jump to the, uh, the hammerstorm. Yeah. And then also have a stack of the hammerstorm staff. I think nope. I would, if I were the. Or well, maybe actually, maybe you don't want to do that right now because then you, then you want to buy back. Uh, as Forex is making its way downtown, top lane again. Are we gonna see initiation on the scrap here? Will uh, they for a bit? On the scrap? No, I think on the on the bramble. You mean? On the bramble, yeah. Sorry. Devour still does not have a staff. Wait, what is? What are they saving up for? I'm not sure. 
Buy can it? these guys buy something? Anything. I mean, I think the Hellbrand side is happy with this since, you know, 4x that just being, you know, doing 4x things in the top lane. Look at that. That's a wing ball on the Kronos now. Yep, and that is suddenly a lot tankier for Kronos. He yeah. did sell his Elder Parasite, so he doesn't have any sustain anymore. That is true. I think this does mean that Kronos does really need to get more points in his, in like, in, in max stats instead of like when we speed here. <clears throat> That's I hope he does that. Um, no, he goes not a point in movement speed. Maybe I don't think it's it's going to help him as much as like 100 HP would. Because th this is like one of the problems of the Kronos. I talked about this yesterday a little bit as well. He has only 1.5 strength per level, mm -hmm. which means that he d does not end up as a very tanky hero. That is true. That's a that's ship on the Sephora's getting picked up. Was it? Okay. That's probably a good idea against the rest of Kronos with no shrunken. Like, I, I... I do... These teams do know that shrunken is an item, right? <laughs> like, on both sure teams... Just refusing to pick up a shrunken head is... Um... Let's go back to what you say, Dutch. Sorry. No, go for it. What did I say? Because I forgot. I'm watching uh, Devo uh, having 5k gold in his inventory. Yeah. There's going what? to be a codex. Item on him here. Would it be a staff? It has to be a staff. If he right. gets. I, I can't, like, imagine a single other item that would be good. No. But I'm guessing he's saving up for a buyback on one hand. On the other hand, like, is a buyback really going to do that much? Not really. No. Not for him. Like, if you lose a team fight, I don't think you're coming back from that. Because it likely means that you already used your... Oh, uh, look at this, by the way, in the top lane. Five people there. <laughs> Both teams really afraid of taking the fight here. But they saw or this. It can be the end. They saw this. There's a good ward on the cliff there. Yep. So they're kind of baiting the Hammerstorm, but the Elbron side knows this actually. The Scrap 4x was in the top lane, and Scrap is actually. Uh, sorry, the 4x is down for 50 seconds. That's actually kind of a big deal. It which is. means that, like, instead of like sending 4x to the bottom lane, they're just sending Bramble to the bottom lane, it seems. Another raid boss. Oh, look at this hammerstorm in the bottom lane. Do they see him? I don't think they do. Hammerstorm used this frost of skull. They used uh, the the doggos. The doggos are searching out the targets. Pharaoh deciding to not go in, which is likely, a, I would say, correct choice. But both teams are just. Kind of oh, look at playing that. very hesitant. Maybe Sorry? Kronos wants to go in here. Kronos getting an inverse rune. Did they see that? They absolutely saw that. Yeah, they did. Maybe they will get a and reward. And this is an eye. It is an eye on empath. That's oh, this might be big. I see three people being smoked up, and I see Hammerstorm not smoked up for some reason. Hammerstorm, the only one that is not smoked up there. Look at this. And Devour. Oh, Devour picked up a sheepstick? Oh, he did buy a sheepstick. Is that good? Oh, hammer. Bramble ulti being used here in the middle lane. Oh, sorry, they're going in on the Hammerstorm. That's one sheepstick down. Bramble going in on the Hammerstorm, but Hammerstorm is so tanky. He has 100 HP region, actually. Kronos, sorry, Hammerstorm going in on a scrap, scrap, almost instantly going down. Tempest ultimate on the Kronos. Kronos might not be able to live. That's the Sephora's ultimate on top of it as well. Kronos is likely not going to live here. He pops his ultimate, but it's not going to be in time. Kronos oh, is going no. to fall. He actually Kronos leaps out to maybe try and save the Doombringer. So that means Scrap he can buy back. And can he pick up the Doombringer? No. Scrap picked up the Doombringer. Kronos going in again here with Altis Doombringer. But 
Oh, that's a big tablet from the... Big tablet. Oh. No, oh. oh, Kronos in trouble here. Yeah, Kronos does not have the damage that he needs. Hammerstorm is so tanky. Look at that. Bramble trying to live here, but Bramble is eventually going to die. Another stun. Wow. Oh, and now the Doombringer's on the ground there. Look at bottom dodge. They're pushing us heavily with the creeps. Oh, well, look at it. Tempest with the Doombringer now. Yeah. His time has come, but yeah. Like, yes, they get the bottom racks, but... What happened here? They caught the Kronos and he was not able to do anything. So, Kronos really just wanted one objective and that was Tempest. Yep. He went in, but before he could ultimate, Tempest used his ultimate on Kronos. Oh, Pharaoh initiating oh, that's here. a big Pharaoh ultimate. And yeah, they just melt. That looks to be the game, Dutch. Yep. Honestly, I think Kronos may have needed a, a, a crit this game. Yeah. Kronos going in, trying to defend. Last man standing here. Devo coming I... with the hook on Sephora's. Into the pool. Oh, that's in. a good hook, but I don't think it's going to be and enough, is it? No. The well tried to do, but like, even with the rot. <laughs> even with the rot. Another hook on yeah. the <laughs> But not and enough. And so bloody die already! <laughs> but wow. Look at the HP region from the Hammerstorm. Yeah, with crazy. like hearts. Six, like 1000 or 100 HP region. Unbelievable game we had here. That was...